What if athletic performance really was all in the mind? That's exactly what this technology shows. Well, that's exactly what iBrain Tech is proving today. This Israeli startup, founded in 2019 in Tel Aviv, has developed a one of a kind technology, a tool that blends neuroscience, sport, and cutting edge technology. Here in Tel Aviv, a team of experts are working on this remarkable device, a headset that lets users control a video game character using only their minds. The goal isn't to become Lara Croft or an Assassin's Creed hero just yet, but to help elite athletes improve their training and rehabilitation through the power of their brain. This technology is already being used by Premier League clubs in the UK, across Europe, and by various football and basketball teams. Many top athletes are now training with this Israeli innovation, an idea that started in the mind of Dr. Konstantin Sonkin, the founder and CEO of iBrain Tech. It was born in uh, 15 years of my research in the domain of brain science and artificial intelligence. And uh, once AI was inspired by biological organization of the brain, and since that time AI improved so dramatically and our understanding of our own human brain is almost on the same level. So I felt the need to give back, to utilize AI to better understand and enhance natural intelligence of humans. This is why we started iBrain on a mission to bring deep academic research into the daily life and to empower athletes and actually all people around the globe to exercise the mind the same way as we exercise our body. To understand how this technology works, you first need to understand that the brain functions much like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger and more efficient it becomes. Imagine you go to the gym and you want to be fit. But fit is a very complex term. Spe precisely, you'd like your biceps to be stronger. So you go and you start exercising bench presses and you see how your biceps grows with the repetitions and with exercises. The same applies to the brain. Imagine you'd like to be able to be more focused. So there is a unique area of the brain called prefrontal cortex. You need to go and start exercising this area. So millions of neurons supporting the decision-making capability will work more efficiently in a way, brain responses to training the same way as our physical body does. So we go to the gym and we exercise, we see the progress. The same applies to our brain training. And the best way to understand this technology is, of course, to see it in action. So that's what we're going to do now with Daniel Essis, Vice President of iBrain Tech. Thanks to this technology, I'm about to play football using nothing but my brain. This is specially designed that we're going to roll out shortly. It has strategically placed sensors. Could you just touch it a little bit? Gentle, okay. gentle. OK, this is what's going to be feeling on, on your head. Okay. These sensors will be picking up the brain activation. Our brain runs, as you met with Dr. Konstantin Sonkin, it runs on electric. When we think of something, we're activating certain areas in our brain. And these delicate, delicate sensors pick up that activation. Our AI patented technology will translate, convert that, and throw that onto the screen. And we're good to go. And Christopher, let's go for your first game of brain football. Oh, yeah, you hold on to that. Here we go, fitting nicely. <laughs> the idea is you're actually gonna be thinking about the movement, the focus, the concentration. Where exactly are you? Where's your leg going? Okay. How does it feel, the ball kicking on that foot? Everything exactly you would as you were on the pitch. Okay. My brain activity then appears on the screen in green and blue. Every movement I control with my mind is displayed in real time. Together with Daniel, we choose my avatar, the character I'll embody and move simply by thinking. When my player bumps into obstacles, it means I wasn't focused enough, and the connection between the game and my brain briefly broke. Focus, we get in, I'll take a breath, it'll reconnect. After a few minutes of intense concentration, the game can finally begin. One of the scenarios on offer, the decisive pass. Where you're supposed to place the ball, right there. You focus, aiming it to right there. Focus, putting it there, and then you'll see it should be getting smaller and smaller. But I'm talking to 
causing a little bit of distraction. So if I come here every day, I'll eventually start scoring goals in the game and then in real life. A thousand percent. Again, it doesn't have to be every day. Two to three times a week is more than enough. 20 to 25 minutes in the comfort of their home. They come here in their facility and then they could 10x what they've been doing on the actual pitch, practicing, visualizing, building that neural connection. And then when they get to the pitch, it's automation. Boom, boom, boom. And we've been fortunate enough to work with very high level players and clubs throughout the world. And the feedback and the results have been just, God bless, amazing. Perfect. I'll come back twice a week and become the next Mbappe. <laughs> During the test, other scenarios were introduced, like the cones you see on screen, or even a straightforward penalty kick. Today, this technology is mainly aimed at elite athletes, but tomorrow it could expand into other fields. Their elite athletes and sports scientists validate the technology. You have unprecedented marketing power because the sports franchises are so powerful, right? If Messi or Ronaldo says something is good, we have tendency to trust them because they are, for us, actually role models, I would say. We're not limited and bounded by sports because not only young athletes want to exercise their mind and improve their abilities to make decisions and execute them. Not only injured athletes want to return to their lives and continue training while you can't actually move. So we are doing massive clinical trials in the United States together with our strategic partners um, in the top level national hospital chain. Since ancient times, the saying, a sound mind in a sound body, has been repeated endlessly. This technology, developed here in Israel, is living proof of it. Minds may even be taking the lead over the body. From elite sports to medical rehabilitation, this innovation could transform our understanding of performance in years to come. A revolution that reminds us, in sports, as in life, everything begins in the mind.